Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. We are in uh, the arena, in Cathina, and as you will notice, we are quite a few levels higher than we used to be. Gans actually was only level 12 when he joined, or rejoined. Um, everyone else was 13, we are now 15, I think? Uh, well, that might, be, might still be 15. Um, I think Maru is 16, Karg is 17. Yeah. Gans is also 16, so... Yeah, uh, I also attempted the arena again, as you see, and uh, indeed enemies have become a lot more easy, although I have tried the arena twice actually, once um, the first time I didn't do so well, but that was before I gained quite as many levels. Um, the first one, round was always the exact same, uh, however I never encountered the um, those riflemen again ones who are wrecking me so hard. In fact, uh, this is round five, and uh, yeah, we've only, we, ha we have encountered some new enemies, some uh, human fighters with, uh, who were fighting with whips, but they were nowhere near as bad as, as the riflemen, so I don't know. I would, would have liked to encounter those again to see um, how much of a difference these uh, couple of levels actually make against them. I assume we we should be able to defeat them now, albeit well, maybe with a little bit of difficulty, but either way, this works. Yeah, these guys used to do like what twenty damage, so that's a huge difference from just a few levels. Ouch! Well, I mean. Not very much. So yeah, uh, the, the bad thing, or you know, the unfortunate thing, I should say, is uh, that the only location available for training is uh, Shida Forest. Unfortunately, in this part of the world, there, the only other locations are the new mooring point for the for the airship and um, the uh, spring where we found Lilia. And those uh, don't have any encounters. So yeah, Ashina Forest is the only encounter zone right now. So uh, yeah, fighting there, you know, grinding there was becoming a little bit repetitive pretty fast. I guess I was grinding for about an hour or so. And uh, I mean, enemies unfortunately didn't really give a whole lot of experience. Um, we ended up with about 200 to 300 per person after each of those random fights, but uh, I made a whole lot of money pretty fast. I ended up with over 4,000 gold, uh, some of which I spent on some bone amulets to increase my defenses. Um, yeah. Nice win, I guess. And we got the stone bag. Oh, a stone bag! Of course, I didn't even really think about it. That must be a better stone holder. So who do we want to have more stones? Actually, I did le also level up some or buy up some uh, some skills. Let's see here. Because uh, yeah, both arena and training do give you skills. Great skills. Uh, yeah. Right. I did learn healing rain. Uh, obviously, a far superior healing spell. Um, so that's great. Refresh. Tornado. Oh, is this? Um, I was gonna say, did we have this already? But I think Dark has turned in, right? That's cool. Um, having refresh available is actually really useful. Um, poison is especially bad, since that does seem to deal percentage-based damage. So that has to be pretty, pretty crippling. I think I wanna just buy this. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm. I guess I'm gonna give Card the better stone holder. Um, because he has healing rain. Anyway. But I did learn something. I think. Oh yeah, Fire Sling. Fire Sling is actually pretty good. It does cost a lot, but uh, it has a huge range of a uh, huge area of effect, actually a a huge cone of attack, and deals a lot of damage. Uh, so that's that's a great addition to my arsenal. Um, for him, yeah, right, I was uh, saving up points for Binding Arrow, which we can just afford, so, yep. 
being able to paralyze enemies seems really useful, assuming it works most of the time. I mean, it's really expensive, so it better. Um, yeah. For him, we got power charge, temporarily increase attack, yeah, right. And uh, steel wall, actually, to increase defense. Let's see here. Mm, nah. Speedstorm. Oh, yeah. Uh, another axe attack. Maybe an upgraded rolling axe. Rolling axe is nice for, you know, being able to hit everything around you, but it doesn't deal a lot of damage, so. Yes, let's go with this. And equip. Nice that we have a stone bag. Ooh, wow, yeah, that's much better. Is that twice as good? I think the original one gives you 15, so. Yep. 30 more spirit stones. Sweet. Um, yeah, as for the other, oops, the other arena ranks. Okay, this now gives Bitterleaf. I'm not entirely sure what Bitterleaf does. It doesn't sound super good. I assume it's still an okay item, but I don't think I have access to otherwise, so there's that. Angel earrings, um, wow. Oh, those might be... Uh... An item of that name was in the previous game, I think. And it might it might be the one that reduced your reduced mana cost. Something like that? I mean, that would be good. And Ancient Curiosity. Um, well, I've actually been, been told what uh, these final arena ranks uh, give you. And it's something pretty good. Uh, and I would really like, uh, or I will definitely try my best to to beat them eventually, but right now, I mean, we've seen that Arena level 5 is already pretty taxing, or 5 levels of Arena can be pretty taxing, and not only are these higher ranks so much longer, but enemies are also stronger, so I don't think... Oops, can I please just... Wait. Oh yeah. Confusing menus are confusing. Anyway, um, I'm gonna attempt that at a later date, basically don't feel like hanging around here much longer, just grinding the levels. Oh god, slow down again. Uh, yeah, I am going to buy more spirit stones. Right. I mean, I have all the money in the bottom. I don't want to completely fill up though, because you do find some after combat, obviously. So should be the back we should be good for a good long time. Nice. Let's go ahead and heal here. Uh heal. Save, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna save over that I guess. Uh yeah I saved after after grinding so might as well. Well then, with that, let's get out of this place. The computer doesn't like it. Okay, and we enter the big owl again. Oh yeah, okay, just like that. Well, I mean, there is a save point here. I guess I could have remembered. No, yeah, doesn't matter. Don't need to save right now. Is there anything here? Oh, we could have healed here for free too. Okay. Yes, break room. Convenient. Uh, completely forgot about that, but whatever. Move. Oh, nice. Okay, and we can return to Ragnar. Do we want to? Uh, sure. Let's see if there's anything new or what we can even do there. I suppose we could go visit uh, Nafia. Uh, sure, let's see if anything's new back home. Not sure why we don't land a bit closer to you, Bell. Commander Karg, no major problems in your absence. That's what I like to hear. You can rest assured that Nadelia is safe in our hands. Eh, I mean, so long as Jill's World doesn't actually attack. Sure. 
could talk to every single person here, and I'm sure there is some new dialogue. Or... Actually, I mean, probably everyone has something new to say. Yeah, sorry. I think I want to restrict myself to talking to the most important people, uh, assuming they're here. Hmm. Where could you be? Well, in my room. She's she's gonna be somewhere, right? I'm not forgetting something major that happened to her? No. She should still be around. Karg, was your mission a success? What? Really? It seems like you had rather difficult time, Karg. But I can't condone con but I can't condone returning home in the middle of an uncom uncompleted mission. I think you should have a short rest and then leave immediately. After all, the future of this country lies on your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Didn't mean to stay. In your absence, work at the refinery has been going according to plan, so don't worry about that. Okay, cool. You? Cool refinery workers are we. We have worker spirit, you'll see. Things are running perfectly as usual, Karg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was that part of the song? Hmm. I mean, why would she be here? But... Oh well, maybe I am forgetting something. No, she was. Last time we we saw her, she was. She waved us goodbye. All the way up where. Uh... We found Big Owl. So, I don't know. I guess she must be absent for story reasons? Oh no, of course we get a random fight here. We'll see if this is... Uh, these are the same enemies we used to encounter here? Because if so, that's... Yeah, that's gonna be pretty boring. Then again, it's probably... I'll probably one-shot them. Maybe not. Just come out of there. They're only level 6, okay, so I almost punch up them. Eh, whatever. Come on. I guess I could cut it out, but. Probably worth it. Oh no, come on. That's really not necessary. Uh, attack both. Or two at once. Oh. Of course. Yep. There we go. Oh, nice. Wow. Let's go ahead and pick all this up. Yeah, money rewards for, uh, for lower level enemies are surprisingly pretty alright. Actually, not much lower than for uh, appropriate level enemies, for the most part. But yeah, experience is definitely much lower. Okay. Well, I guess it was nice to see our hometown again. Alright, we can also just go ahead and heal here. Uh, I keep, you know, holding up on the, on the left stick and that selects Selects no and all these little checks. Whoops. Uh, let's save for this one. This is the official save file for this episode, I guess. And we move to Epistia. Hmm. 
This looks like the land that was called Milmana in the, or Mil Milmana in the previous games, right? Hmm. Southlands, Cassim Highway, the Tory Hills. Tory Hills even sounds familiar. Although maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. Check them out. Okay, just an encounter area. Fair enough. Maybe we'll see something new here. I mean, we should. This being an entirely different continent. Oh, uh, well, I mean, humanoid enemies, I suppose, are pretty universal. In fact, yeah, these are Pugnaciuses. Pugnaciai. I don't know. Uh, monks. Monks I don't think we've seen so far. Oh no. Stop wasting my time by blocking. block, of course. No. Don't hit the girl. Nice. Good dodge. Good block. I like it. Ooh. Well, that's a uh, three enemy shot. Can't say no to that. Wait. There we go. There we go. Ah, pretty good. Oh, and he can't counter that. Well, Looks like I should be able to hit them both. Oh, yep, there we go. Nice. And she should yep, be able to hit these two. Sweet. Sixty-six, wow. Good. Stones anyway. So you can see, oh, this one's actually almost dead, so I need to make sure to put this and finish him off. Sweet. Oh, and he loads up. So, second one to reach uh, level 17. Attack and mantle up, defense up, all the good stuff. Nice. Mario levels. Uh, class levels up. Okay. Mauro is just such an easy time uh, ramping up experience with uh, you know his super long range attack and piercing too. That's it's just really powerful uh, skills. Nice. So what's new here? Mauro's big news. Mauro tells an even better story. Uh, actually, I completely forget what this does. I think I've used it once. Is this another morale boost? Probably, huh? Sounds like it would be. Kind of stands. Um. Sure. Guard rate. Oh, well, well, maybe that's not entirely useless. Although I guess when it comes to defensive buffs, uh, I'd rather take a flat damage reduction rather than a chance to evo evade entirely. Hmm. I don't know, I guess it comes down to the individual situation. But of course, uh, he's completely out of SP for the time being. She could maybe learn something? No, it's all way too expensive. Okay. Uh, hit points are looking good, so let's keep going. Oh, okay. Not an, not a random encounter, but some kind of encounter. <laughs> this is bad. It's a Dales World Army checkpoint. Yep, looks like it. I mean, it's not that many of them. We can just defeat them, as we always do. Should we bust through? Uh, if you ask me, yeah. If we cause trouble here, we'll have problems when we get to Sulfas. 
Eh, maybe a good point. Well, what do we do then? They might know about us already. Hmm. What about just answering the questions? Of course, we'll have to think carefully about how we answer. But I carried I carried out checks like these when I was a mercenary. And it's hard to doubt people if they're if they're up front. You're right. Anyway, we have to go we have to go this way to get to Selfless, so let's give it a try. Alright. I mean we can always defend ourselves if it comes to that, so. Pistia is under occupation by the Dillsworld Empire. If you must pass through, then you'll have to be questioned by the guard by the guard inside. Okay, fair enough. Entry into the capital sofas is generally forbidden. You can only come in if you've been questioned and received special permission from the guard inside. Why is it that soldiers tend to only ever have one line of dialogue or one, I don't know, chunk of dialogue? I don't care who you are or where you're from. I don't think you can get past us. Even a mouse could get through if it didn't have permission. Get out. No one is allowed uh, alone around here but Dillswell troops. Alright. Well then. Bring on your questions. Your destination? Selfus. Epistia is under occupation by the Dillswell army. You cannot proceed any further without our permission. If you wish to proceed, you must answer our questions. Where have you come from? Uh, right now? Eldro. Right. Is there a wrong answer here? Or a... A true answer. Eldro? Home of the useless World Alliance, right? You'll soon become part of our empire like all the others. Next, who are you? We're mercenaries. Traders? Entertainers? I mean, I guess we look more like mercenaries, right? Mercenaries? Yeah, you look like them. I'll bet you're planning to use the Dillsworld Army's advances for your own gains. You're not worth worrying about. Right, next question. I want to make sure you're the kind of people who cooperate with the Dillswald Empire. If you are, then you'll know the names of the, of the people on the army's blacklist. <laughs> Give me a name. Uh, oh yeah, Spencer. Samson of the Moonstone Gang. The Lightstone Girl Lilia. Uh, maybe that's not common knowledge. No, no, let's go with Spencer. Spencer? That's right. He formed the Resistance and he's still opposing our army. We haven't found him yet, but when we do, he'll be executed. That's the end of the questions. You don't seem to have anything to hide. <laughs> you seem trustworthy. Okay, permission to proceed. Well, that was easy. Stupid Dillswildians. Hold it! Huh? There's one last important thing I forgot to check. It's quite simple. To show your respect, I must ask you to utter the full name of His Maj Majesty, the Emperor of Dillsweld. Um, Darkham Entreef Orbidon? Emph Oteg, Ekid Nabard. I don't think I've heard the full name. Ekid Nabard sounds like it could be legit. That's right. Please proceed. Uh, really? Lucky guess, I guess. Huh. Phew, that was close. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't discuss those things uh, standing like three meters away from the guy. <laughs> Great job, Karg. They're acting like they own the place already. Just look at them. We can't let them get away with this. Let's go. Huh. Well, that worked pretty well. I wonder if uh, I could have, or I would have gotten into a fight with them, actually. Uh, oh well. Well, there sure are a lot of, a lot more of them. Right, everyone's assembled. Let's march to Kasim Highway to relieve the guards. Keep information. Doesn't look like we can get away with much here. Then let's hunt out hunt out ex General Spencer right away. And I doubt many people would know the whereabouts of the resistance leader. Even if there was someone that knew, I doubt they'd tell us just like that. Well, let's just try to get as much information on him as we can. Well, I guess that's as good a strategy as any. Hi, oh, our healer girl. 
Our aid group makes no distinctions between Dillswell soldiers and resistance members. It's my duty to heal tired and injured people, no matter who they are. I guess that's commendable. And uh, prices uh, constantly going up here. This is our shop. Presently, all economic activities in Southwest are under the control of the Dillswell army. If you want any goods, you must wait for your rations. rations. Who knows when that will be, though? Oh, wait. Does it mean you can't do any shopping? Oh. Oh, she's, she's a special portrait. My equipment shop, Leonora. I've already explained, but you just don't seem to understand. How could we possibly have anything to spare? All our supplies go straight to you. Don't lie. We've heard rumors that your husband, uh, Jaqual, is selling goods to the resistance on the black market. Just tell me where he is. Then we can interrogate him. What can I say? I have no idea where he is. In that case, we'll wait. But I don't know when he'll be coming back. No matter. Okay. That's a bit of a lead, though. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't sell anything to you now. Right. What do you want? This shop is now under the control of the Dillswald army. Trading with civilians is forbidden. Gotcha. Man, these guys suck. This is... Oh, interesting looking building. Former General Spencer's whereabouts? Don't ask me, how would I know? Just saying his name out could get me arrested, you know? And don't keep asking the kids about them, either. Spencer is a taboo subject in this town now. I've got nothing to tell you. It's understandable. What you what do you think you're doing? We'll be spotted by the Dillsworld lot. Do me a favor and get out of here. Do you have anything to hide then? No. No. Also, only talk to one of the guys. Spencer's, Spencer's the one who retired ages ago, right? I think you'd be better off asking the man about him. But you'd be wasting your time asking that man over there. No matter how many times you ask him something, he just answers with something unrelated. And I don't think he can see very well, either. Okay, that's weird. We haven't seen Spencer for ages. You say so? You're talking... she was talking about him, huh? Oh, a young boy in shorts? Can I help you? What? Spencer's whereabouts? I see. The main plant on the north side of town. It's the very heart of this country. You know, it's so important. Hmm? What was I saying? Ah, nice old man. North side of town, gotcha. Holding private conversations will be taken a conspiracy as conspiracy against our army and is strictly forbidden. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Good thing you didn't see me then. Damn. Did I mention these guys suck? Hey kid. Where are you? Huh? What? Where are you? I really don't know. Ah, this resistance game is lame. Does he think I can't see him there? Right. You're playing hide and seek? Oh, yeah, I see you. Oh, so you found me. Well done. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, head of the resistance someday. So I'm doing some concealment training now. Uh, so you want to be occupied till then, huh? Yeah, I mean, seems to be uh, expecting that this occupation lasts is gonna last forever. Hmm, I guess so. Well, I do want to be the head of the resistance someday, but it's horrible living in an occupied country. Now stop confusing me! <laughs> Didn't think that one through all the way, huh? So, a shop? Oh yeah, a bar. Looks like, ooh, you look interesting. Welcome! But by the look of you, you're underage. Really? He, again, he doesn't look that young. But, well, I'm very sorry, but I can't serve alcohol to a minor. It's okay, I'm not here for a drink. I'm looking for a guy named Spencer. Spencer? Well, I've never heard that name. What does he look like? You've never heard of him? But I thought he used to be a general in this country. Oh, yes, now that you mention it. There was a guy of that name around some time ago. I've heard he's running the resistance now. The resistance? <laughs> Shh, please. Know your voice. Don't say that kind of thing in here. You might not think there are many troops around to hear you, but it only takes one, and the consequences would be unthinkable. Then maybe you could just tell me who might know something about Spencer. 
As I said, I haven't heard that name for a long time. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can help you. Now, maybe you should leave. Yeah, I mean... See this? It's the 10 rules of the pub. The owner here made it. The first thing new customers have to do is read it. You gotta know the rules. Ah, it takes me back. The first time I read this was uh, many a year ago. I can't tell you. Okay, I mean, I would like to read them, but... Since you won't let me... Okay. Oh, and this is... Hmm? Looks like the store won't open from, the, from this side. Interesting. Shortcut from somewhere else. Oh, can I go in here? Nope. But I can have some sweet slowdown. It's always nice. Oh. Okay. So, what's this place? Uh, any even slightly suspicious behavior will result in severe punishment. Bear that in mind. Okay. Not sure what that symbol on the sign is supposed to signify. The entire main plan has been requested, uh, requ requisitioned by the Dillsworld Army. You cannot enter. Entry into the main plan is forbidden, even for citi even to citizens of Southus. Clear off. Okay, well, since this is the only place I can go then. Oh, and it hmm, has a safe point. Who are you? Just a shop, huh? Part shop. Oh, since the Dillswald army came along, business has been terrible. I wish the resistance would hurry up and get rid of them. But they're just not in the same league, really. It's not fair to expect too much of them. Can I shop here? Oh. Okay, that sucks. Well, I mean, it does give me the opportunity to save the game here and end the episode. Next time we're going to look for a way to contact the, uh, the Resistance. Um, I have a feeling we're going to run into the shop owner's uh, husband at some point. But uh, we'll see. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.